जी अंकित जी साहब प्रणाम यस तो आप अमेरिका में कब आए थे और उस समय का भारत कैसा था किस सन में आप यहाँ आए देखो मैं जो हूँ मैं मेडिकल पॉलिसी से 1967 में मैंने ग्रेजुएट किया जी तो उसके बाद में 68 में मैं अमेरिका आया जी तो ऐसा था कि पहले अमेरिका में 65 से पहले आना आसान नहीं होता था अच्छा यहाँ पे इमिग्रेशन लॉ जो हैं वो 65 में बदले हैं अच्छा तब उन्होंने ये खोला है अच्छा एशियन के लिए जी जी पहले लोग आते थे ओनली बहुत कम आते थे कोई 100 टू 200 पीपल होल ईयर में वीसा मिलता था अच्छा वो कोटा था कोटा अच्छा, इंडियन के लिए इंडियन के लिए जो आते थे तो ये 65 में अमेरिका में इमिग्रेशन लॉ बदले अच्छा तो उसके बाद में इन्होंने कहा कि जो भी इंडियन हैं एशियन लोग अपनी क्वालिफिकेशन पे आ सकते हैं अच्छा और अमेरिका उस टाइम पे एक्सपेंडिंग इकानमी था जैसे इंडिया है अच्छा जैसे इंडिया अभी है अभी है अच्छा एक्सपेंडिंग था अच्छा तो एक्सपेंडिंग था दे नीडेड मोर पीपल अच्छा तो दे वॉज ए लेबर नीड और मन हैं जी एंड देन वर दी लीगली अलाउड टू कम विद दी वर्क परमिट विद आई के मेज एक्सचेंज विजिटर वीसा अच्छा ओके पीपल केम विद ए डिफरेंट वीसा द डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज सो दे ओपन द डोर दैट टाइम तो वन आई केम वाई आई केम फ्रॉम इंडिया जी आई आई वॉज ए फिजिशियन बट शी इंडिया बिकेम इंडिपेंडेंट एज वी नो इन फोर्टी सेवन जी and india did one thing very good i must admire that the indian administration kept the education on the forefront they were poor they didn't have money ji they didn't have more luxury they didn't know the future but they knew the education is the future ji so all the administration kept the education on the forefront so from 1947 to 67 20 year period then the new batch start coming up to education ji no matter art degree no matter psychology degree doctor degree engineer degree they start coming out of the colleges ji but there were no jobs there was no infrastructure ji to absorb them ji properly so up so there was no it was a problem there so people want to look and the america just opened up people mm-hmm. to come so that's why the people start coming here acha india was good but india was financially very poor obviously mm-hmm. there is no two way about it huh. we were very pride we were highly educated but india didn't have any money or infrastructure so people mostly came here for higher education acha higher education you know when there is no job what you do or do one more degree Jee. You did that degree, so there is no job. You do another degree. See, Jee. that's uh-huh. the way people go. Jee. So people came here number one for the education purpose. Number second came because of the financial reason. Achha. Because India was poor, and mostly people came here, in my opinion, were from middle class families. मिडिल क्लास लो मिडिल क्लास लिल अपर मिडिल क्लास विच दे वर नॉट सिक्योर फाइनेंशियली देयर अच्छा तो दे वर लुकिंग सम फाइनेंशियल गेन अच्छा सो लॉट ऑफ पीपल बिकॉज़ डॉलर वैल्यू वाज 1 डॉलर टू 6 और 7 रुपीस एट दैट टाइम अच्छा बट इंडिया डिड नॉट हैव एनी फॉरेन एक्सचेंज करेंसी अच्छा जीरो सो देयर इज नो पावर मतलब इंडिया के पास डॉलर नहीं थे डॉलर नहीं अच्छा इंटरनेशनल करेंसी कोई नहीं जी इंडिया की वैल्यू नहीं थी जी ऐसा पीपल जज ओके सो नाउ इज डिफरेंट ओके सो नाउ इज अबाउट 700 बिलियन डॉलर इंडिया हैज फॉरेन एक्सचेंज डिफरेंट ओके सो सो लॉट ऑफ पीपल केम फॉर दोस टू रीजन एजुकेशन जी सो आफ्टर यू डूइंग अ टू और थ्री ईयर ऑफ एजुकेशन हियर जी व्हेन यू गो बैक टू योर कंट्री योर मोर वैल्यू टू गेटिंग अ बेटर जॉब better return on your education ji mm-hmm. that's how the reason came here most of the people came early ji to ye baat kar sakte hain ki aapne jo hai india mein kafi dollar bheje india ki value aapne upar yes yeah 
uh, in the beginning there was a period uh, Naveen you know people used to say brain drain Ji. brain drain oh. <coughs> India ka brain drain ho raha hai mm -hmm. so people then used to like it in India why Achha. people are leaving okay but after when people who came here and they start sending money back Achha. not to the government to their family but he's going to the country Ji, ji. To support the family, support the mom, sister, brother, to paying whatever reason, ji, ji. buying a house, buying this. So when that money start going back, so gradually, gradually, it took about 20 years, Indian government to realize, in my opinion, that people who came here uh, to America or Australia or any other foreign country was very asset to India's progress. Ji. See, everybody sent money back home because they were poor. Mm -hmm. That's the reason people came. One of the main reasons. Mm -hmm. And so when this and there was no jobs in India mm -hmm. available to everyone, so going money back was a great asset to so, the family. जो mm -hmm. जो आज के समय हम brain drain को negative मानते हैं कि अच्छा नहीं भारत से लोग पलायन कर रहे हैं, cream जो है बाहर चला जाता है, तो उसके बारे में आप क्या कहना चाहते हैं कि India के पास क्यों brain drain हो रहा है? India क्यों नहीं yeah. अपने talent को hold कर पा रहा है? Because again there is no opportunity. Opportunity जी. Still no opportunity. Okay. उस समय भी उस समय भी same situation था, अभी भी. Because uh, same situation now. Why same situation? Because India's population became four times. When India जी. was became independent, we were only 35 crore. Now is 140 crore. जी. Four times. So same magnitude need more jobs. Ji. Jobs are there, but not enough to give the people a chance. So same situation. Hmm. Okay. So it's much better now, Ji. but uh, uh, still there is the same situation. See, there are people who are rich, people who are established, who have money, who have businesses. They don't move that. Ji. There's no reason to move. Ji. They're doing better. Still, one third of the India's population is poor. I'm saying one third conservatively. Ji. Is 50% people are poor. Ji. Right? Ji. So for them, those 50% of the Indian population, with due respect, same situation. Inflation gone up. They need more money to live, more money to survive. Is not enough there in the economy. So still, people still coming with the same reason yes there is no opportunity even if there is an opportunity the bureaucracy is so bad that you cannot do honestly anything until you are part of the corrupt system we can say that we are in India the talent is very low और चाहे ऊपर ओवर शोहरे कर लेती हैं ओवर चीजें डेली रूटीन की हैसल हैसल टेक ओवर यू करप्शन तो यू एजुकेशन डेसेंट बिकम मीनिंगलेस यू नो यू डिड ऑल द डिग्रीज इन एजुकेशन एंड यू गेटिंग ए जॉब इस ए क्लर्क और गेटिंग ए जॉब इस ए सबऑर्डिनेट तो इस नॉट वैल्यू तो दोस पीपल लुक People who are in education, whether it's a medical education, a political education, a economical education, they need more research-oriented money Ji. to proceed further. Mm -hmm. India does not put enough money into the research they don't have. You come to America, go to other places, there's a much more opportunity to excel your education, make use of it. मतलब यहाँ पे जो universities हैं research पे काफी पैसा invest करते हैं yes R and D research and development they put lot of money there and because the human mind is the same why Indian people like me and other people coming here are doing great job a brain is the same is the Indian brain it was also in the beginning too but there was no opportunity to advance that that was available here or in other foreign countries. So that's what the people living. Not India is bad, but somehow they don't have the resources. 
रिसोर्सेस और प्लानिंग रिसोर्स एंड वैल्यू वैसे माहौल नहीं क्रिएट कर पाए हैं माहौल क्रिएट नहीं कर पाए स्टिल नहीं कर पाए जी ओके सो इट्स इम्प्रूविंग वी आर वेरी वेरी हैप्पी एंड आई एम वेरी ग्रेटफुल टू ऑल माई टू गॉड दैट आई हैव सीन इंडिया आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस मैन यू वॉज पोअर एप्सोलूटली पोअर जी now the reputation of india is different india has progressed very well progressing very well although the economy may be fifth in the world or fourth in the world that's okay but the daily struggle is still there you can be you can be very rich person but when you go on a street you have to still struggle with the same thing daily so daily way of life hasn't changed very much for half of the india ऑर्गेनाइज नहीं कर पाए हम वो सिस्टम नहीं बना पाए हैं जो लोगों की लाइफ को सहूलियत दे एंड इंडिया गवर्नमेंट इज डूइंग गुड जॉब बट गवर्नमेंट ओनली टू समथिंग मीन दे आर एबल टू इम्प्लीमेंट इट बट बिकॉज ऑफ डिफरेंट लेवल ऑफ करप्शन इन वन और दी अदर फॉर्म द प्रोग्रेस डज इन शो अप डज इन शो अप जी उस समय का जो भारत था जब अब मैं ये नहीं कहूँगा भारत छोड़े बट जब आप यूएस आए तो उस समय का भारत का पिक्चर कैसा था बहुत खराब था उस समय सरकार रही होगी कांग्रेस की संभवतः हाँ कांग्रेस की होगी कांग्रेस की थी लेकिन बिकॉज इंडिया वॉज पुअर आउटसाइड द वर्ल्ड इंडिया वॉज कंसिडर्ड ए थर्ड वर्ल्ड कंट्री दे ऑलवेज यूज टू शो इन मीडिया प्रिंट मीडिया बायस रिपोर्टिंग अच्छा एंड दे यूज टू शो ऑल पीपल बैगिंग इन इंडिया ऑल ओवर how how poor people are right ji so they used to the image portray in the media was very bad and india could not do anything because they have no resources to combat that ji no bad campaign image. against ji. it mm-hmm. okay so they couldn't do anything mm-hmm. uh, so that was a reason so in, for, in in this country also they were portrayed in not in a nice way Achha. but we were fortunate all the indian came in the beginning because they came highly educated nobody came without education in america ji mm-hmm. nobody came as a just coming in doing a labor job ji mm-hmm. okay so we came and we fit in the middle class or just lower middle class not in a poor class ji mm-hmm. so indian people were never not ever in a poor class Achha. they fit in a middle class so we never face those mm-hmm. thing in this country there was a discrimination but not overt maybe covert was there right covert. oh <laughs> you look different <laughs> you come from a country which is not educated okay if there is a job promotion come they won't promote you they promote somebody else <laughs> but they could not do uh, openly <laughs> so it was a good <laughs> uh, it was a that but you had to live through it you cannot always complain 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 <laughs> you only can combat that by your hard work sincer hard work ji mm-hmm. and hoping a day will come it'll be different and mm-hmm. now the day has come it's a different now ji mm-hmm. india is in different perceived in different form completely different completely to jab aap aaye to us samay kin kin kathayon ka samna karna pada kya aapke liye red carpet bichi thi ya rahul no, ne no, rode no, the no, how no. was that you came as a labor they needed <laughs> a labor मेबी इज ए डॉक्टर इज ए लेबर मैं ये बताना चाहूँगा कि सैनी अंकल रिटायर्ड शिशु चिकित्सक रहे हैं और ये अपने आप को उस समय बता रहे हैं कि ये एज ए लेबर आए थे तो ये मैं इनका बड़प्पन भी कहूँगा बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट डू स्पेशलाइज इन शिशु चिकित्सा बट वन रीजन वॉज फाइनेंशियल ऑल्सो जी वन वॉज एजुकेशन वन वॉज फाइनेंशियल so when uh, somebody give you uh, to be surprised for the audience viewers when i came here from india my total salary for whole year was 5000 dollars one year one year ji that i came for now if you look back 5000 dollars nothing right not mm-hmm. even a month salary those times i'm not sure how to correlate like inflation might be yeah. very less no very less but again that was the going rate because the uh, i think mm-hmm. but we came as a trainee i came as a trainee okay 
So it was not a salary, it's like okay. a stipend. It's stipend. Okay. But even I was there as a education learning for, I went to the uh, call rotating internship. Then I went to a residency of in Shishu Chikitsa. Then I did my specialized in cancer in children, uh, like for two years. So all those years were not money making. It was a stipend for five years. Mm -hmm. I was married. I had a children and only $9,000 pay. Per year. Per year. Can you imagine <laughs> how difficult would have been, right? Mm -hmm. But as I said, we did a second job and we all find a way to survive raise the children here and we knew the features are good later on with that hope we all survived so we came as a basically they needed us yeah. right requirement thi to aapne unko fill kiya requirement Un fill kiya unke required america was expanding uh, after world war 2 it became a only superpower in the world yeah. so i always say india's progress is about 30 to 40 years behind America okay what happened in America 50 years ago 40 years ago is happening in India now no. still the same situation mm -hmm. it changed very much came closer mm -hmm. but still the thing mm -hmm. that time was different that time everybody wanted to come out of India because of the education and money so during those challenging times what was the thing that keep that kept you moving, moving forward? It's keeping what? your faith, faith in God. Okay. Very important. Mm -hmm. Faith in your family and your relatives in India. Because you knew you were the chosen one who left them. Okay. Everybody didn't come. Ji. I was the first one coming from my whole Sani community in Delhi. I was the first one to leave. So you feel that burden that you are yes, the sir. chosen one come special okay. from those environment to foreign country and you have to do good. Mm -hmm. You don't want to fail, right? Mm -hmm. You have to do good. So, and you want to get a degree, you want to get other stuff. So it was that faith in God and nobody's around you. Almighty God is your best friend, right? Mm -hmm. In your downtime. And then your friend circle, uh, which were there, your relative, your phone call, your letters, encouraging. And you took week by week, as a day by day or week by week, okay? Mm -hmm. And you just, your aim was to be successful. Yeah. You used to say, I cannot fail. Yes. I just cannot fail. There is no failure in the equation. I this <laughs> way, आपका मकसद था कि बहुत सारे लोग आपसे उम्मीद लगाए हैं इंडिया में yes. और आपको उनकी उम्मीदों पर yes. खरा उतरना है खरा उतरना वो मतलब प्रेशर था मतलब वो प्रेशर था उनको निराश yes. नहीं करना देयर वाज अ सोशल फैमिली प्रेशर जी प्लस एजुकेशन प्रेशर हियर डिफरेंट कल्चर जी डिफरेंट थिंग यू विल बी सरप्राइज आई नेवर न्यू वेयर अमेरिका इज आई ओनली न्यू अबाउट 4 मंथ बिफोर आई वाज नो क्यूरियस टू कम टू अमेरिका among all of our eight siblings, I was the most attached with the family. Mm -hmm. And everybody used to say, Inder will never leave his mother and family. Never. And I was the first one who has to leave. So, how easy was it to leave India? No, I didn't have no problem. Absolutely never. I'm telling you, surprisingly, it's the truth of the fact, Ji. Almighty, I never felt homesick in America, not even for a day, because I was sportsman, Achha. I used to play games, I was very social, I used to eat meat, Achha. I used to drink with my friends socially, mm -hmm. socially, and I was very outgoing, I was a capacity of storytelling, Jeez. okay, and I used to be very social, go around person. Uh, adopting was not an issue for me. It was always a good thing. I learned so many things. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, as I said, I honestly tell you, I never felt homesick in America. Mm -hmm. But I had a lot of pressure from the family, family issues, financial issues, mm -hmm. uh, helping other people issues. They had a lot of hopes. 
अब तो एक तो पहुंच गया तो अब हम भी पहुंच जाएंगे जी ठीक होता सो दोज वर देयर बट आइडिया वॉज अवर फोकस वॉज वेरी गुड फोकस वॉज आई एम यंग आई वॉज अबाउट ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड हैफ जी एनर्जेटिक स्पोर्ट्स मैन मैंटेलिटी जी ओके दैट प्राइड दैट आई एम द वन कमिंग टू अमेरिका सो दैट थिंग पॉजिटिव थिंग पुल यू थ्रो जी एंड वेन यू लुक बैक then do you think you made a lot of sacrifices to reach to this stage so do you feel fulfilled or do you have any regrets no looking I, back honestly i'm telling you again uh, viewers may uh, disagree i never had any regret mm -hmm. zero i don't have a regret in life i am the most fortunate happy person at the age of 82 okay reason is i fulfill all the thing which was supposed to be done by me okay so you had a checklist to my satisfaction okay so you had a checklist and you completed all of them after <laughs> took care of the parents okay took care of the siblings okay great great okay you know in my family we have five brothers four became doctor okay. one became engineer mm -hmm. i sponsored them that's great only yeah. one came ji other didn't want to come even in that thought and you are taking care of them still yeah like no and now i'm not taking care mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. now is a 50 years yeah you used to oh yeah used to yes <laughs> i never more financial burden on me because my brother were doctors with no job ji mm -hmm. they were doctors md mbbs but there is no job mm -hmm. that's what the reason people were coming to the foreign country and when i got the job they also got a job later on but then because of the dollar and rupees was the mm -hmm. more, main uh, carrier so i did a lot of burden happily Ji. happily took care of everything i took care of the parents everybody does no big deal Ji. i took care of the siblings uh, no big deal everybody does and should do it but i did to the best and very happy to my satisfaction so i don't feel any regret about it then they left anything unturned and second thing is even coming here i fulfill all my dreams mm -hmm. what i wanted to do and main thing was traveling traveling <laughs> right we have uh, my wife and i are lucky we have the same wavelength at traveling we have by the grace of almighty god we have traveled about 75 to 80 countries in the world we start traveling when we were 30 year old mm -hmm. and we never stop traveling this nice so with that uh, positive effect of the traveling i saw the world i saw the poor people rich people devastated people how happy they are so your mind become very broad when you travel ji money cannot make your mind broader you have to meet people you have to be interact with them Ji. then you see your mind become broad minded Ji. you small thing don't bother you anymore Ji. so i fulfill my dream my wife's dream and uh, we have children they well to do my son is a engineer but he is a in company high post my daughter in law from india my son was born here but he married a girl from delhi who is a radiologist doctor ji my daughter is a attorney and my son in law is the chemical engineer so they're well set so there is no worry from that point of view ji so i my dreams are fulfilled i'm very happy person nice to hear that because uh, very happy person because some obviously we have a lot of uh, materialistic success yes so that is at the face but yeah. i wanted to know like internally yes. when you reflect back you are the, happy so that is great the, to know the the one proof is uh, since i came here in 50 55 years i may have gone to india for travel maybe about 25 times or 20 to 25 times mm -hmm. almost travel. Uh, mm. and same 15 20 times my relative my parents my they came they here. came here so there was always connection, connection with the roots in india yes all connection with the roots
connection with the people. We respect them. We have no anymore saying, oh, these are Indian or these mm -hmm. are uh, not doing too good. Because my my sister is a farmer. My Nana ji, my Mama ji, all farmers. We used to go to village. Mm -hmm. So I'm very familiar with the rural area of India, how the life is. Mm -hmm. And we never, when we go back, nobody can tell us we came from America or we came from <laughs> Delhi to Gaon, you know. Yeah. So our cultural connection has been very deep rooted. Yes, and the yes. benefit, my children are grew up in America, born and raised here, but they have the same feeling about the culture and the picture. When we see Bharat and America, we don't have to say that you have to say that you have to say that क्या प्रेरणा मिलती है? What inspiration do you get from these two countries separately? See, as a country, you know, Bharat is a unique country, oldest country, mm -hmm. oldest culture. Money cannot buy a culture, no matter how rich you are. Mm -hmm. Is a tradition buy a culture, tradition and festivals, and your feeling and so that's India is a really a leader in that. Has been leader all the time. Now it's becoming more evident. It's becoming a leader. And so that's uh, West had to learn from India. That's why Westerners are learning more Eastern way now. Mm -hmm. what is in that? your yoga, okay. yoga, mm -hmm. your meditation. Uh, they know that India is a country of very young people so that's a future, future. in the world economy mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. as a force as a power and India has done so much good in education opening very many colleges very many universities very many progressive mind mm -hmm. so it's coming up very fast so the prediction is and I believe that in the next 20 years or 25 years mm -hmm. India will be the leading place uh, for people to go to. Uh, like people used to come to US in 20, 25 years. Very many of employment people will go from America to work in India. Maybe our, our grandchildren, they will go back to India. Grandchildren will go back to India. Find a job there. Find a job there. <laughs> so I tell my grandkids now, hey, why to learn Spanish? You better learn Hindi. Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> because one day you may have to go to India to work <laughs> or lead or work, whatever. Mm -hmm. So India has come up very well. Mm -hmm. India's uh, reputation has come up in the very well developed country mm -hmm. now. And it's a great future. Mm -hmm. But you know, when you're a leader like America, we have a $23 trillion economy. Mm -hmm. India has only four four trillion economy, they have a lot to catch up. Mm -hmm. Momentum is good, mm -hmm. but it's a lot the, to catch the up. the base is small still. Base is small, yes. okay. So to come to the American way of living, why people come to America? Not because there's, nobody gives in America everybody on silver platter, hey, is a dollar, hey, is a thing. Money doesn't come on a dollar, doesn't come on a tree, tree yeah. right? You know how hard it is to work. <laughs> It's not easy, yes, right? Yes. But but the daily life is very good. Yeah, things are very established. Organized. Very established, very organized. You live a peaceful life. Even a mediocre person can live a peaceful life. Mm -hmm. Okay, live. Yeah. So people come to foreign countries in America, like they come because of the. Uh, you cannot work with India's uh, industrial. Their their system of progress. There's always a corruption. Yeah. Big level. Mm -hmm. I'm sure corruption is in America too, right? Yeah. But not to that level. But your daily life feels like you're like a kingly life if you are working hard. Yeah. So I think that's a difference. But as a as a religiously, spiritually, India is the foremost country. Yeah. So and both have its own pro and cons. Yeah. How about the US? How US U.S. now in Spanish. India, in U.S. now, you know, in 1960, I know the statistics, there were only about 12, 
10,000 to 15,000 Indians in whole America. Mm -hmm. Okay? Very less. Now they're 5 million. Mm -hmm. Okay. 5 million. So now India has a presence here. Okay? But still it offers you progress. It offers you keep up with the technology. Keep on moving. Mm -hmm. Reaching a higher goal. Is here possible much more mm -hmm. as they are possible in India mm -hmm. because of the reason. Okay, mm -hmm. so you still live in the best country, at least so far mm -hmm. in the world. U.S. is the best country. Okay, from the potential growth point of view, progress. It you may not progress. be safe. Mm -hmm. It may be a lot of hassle. Yes. It may be a lot of other things, but still is a lot more chances to survive and flourish in America. Mm -hmm. We can only look for one generation. You look for your children, I look for my gen children, right? Mm -hmm. For two generations, still nobody can touch America as the way the people live. Nice. You have seen American democracy. And when you compare with Indian democracy, how do you find Indian democracy, like the maturity, the voting system, when I say maturity, maturity of the voters, how do yeah. you see? Indian yeah, democracy? I think being the largest and the best democracies in the world, right? India is the largest yep. and this is the best, yes. okay? Democracy in the world. And we both have a common goal. We all came from British, mm -hmm. British uh, enslavement, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, Indian American democracy is well settled. They already decided to have two parties. Okay. There are six parties in America, basically. You mm. never hear those four parties. <laughs> what are they? There are six of them. Okay. I know one is the Green Party, one is the Nature Party, one is the Lib Lib Libertarian Party. Okay. Oh, yeah, they are. No, I was not aware. <laughs> yeah, there are six parties. Okay. But they don't get any funding, so they don't go anywhere. <laughs> okay? So basically, it's a two-party system. Yeah, funding is the key. Okay? two-party mm -hmm. system. So I think it's a, uh, both are very good democracy point of view. Uh, India is developing. India is uh, also going to move now within 10, 15 years. And my hope is they're going to have a one day election in the whole India. One There'll day. be no more zone and no more charan mm -hmm. and no more this and that. Mm -hmm. it, it's very costly. And you never get work done. You're always in a mode of election. Mm -hmm. But in America, so they are going to hopefully adopt in 10, 15 years. It takes time. So both are progressing. Okay. See, democracy means you have to work hard and you have to be selfish. I'm telling you, real, in my opinion, if it dif I mean in a different definition for your viewers, mm -hmm. in my opinion, democracy means be selfish. Can you please elaborate? Yes. <laughs> See, it's a big statement. <laughs> Democracy means be selfish. It means if you are happy as a selfish man, if your area is happy, your unit, your city is happy, so you build a positive happiness. <laughs> right? I, I get it. Now. Why, why should I vote, let's say, candidate A versus candidate B. I want candidate A to do something for me. Mm -hmm. Lower my taxes. Mm -hmm. room make road for me. Mm -hmm. No different. Or which is in my interest. Which is in my interest, mm -hmm. I'm going to vote for him. I'm not saying I'm going to vote for a best person. Mm -hmm. I'm vote, voting. My decision depends upon what, what is my, what I'm getting back or potential getting back right, right. So, so you are selfish so to okay. get I see that self in selfishness in a positive way so to be selfish in a positive way what is the maturity level of the voter voters right? I, I can be happy just uh, with some 500 rupees mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that yeah. that may serve my purpose of yeah. being happy being yeah. selfish reason people were in India not pretty much good before now with the internet and with the digital media we're all in the same platform mm -hmm. before there was no information system in India mm -hmm. 
So the mass India is 70% is still villages. Mm -hmm. 70%, I'm telling you Kannada. 70% village, 30% cities. America is totally different. Mm -hmm. Is 70% is cities and 30% villages. Mm -hmm. So that time when India has 70% villages, they didn't have the information mm -hmm. to judge whosoever told them they did that. Right? Sarpanch did that, I'll do it. Right? I'll do it. Mm -hmm. So there was no personal thing. But now with the information coming out, even the voters in Indian democracy, they are very educated, mm -hmm. getting more educated. Mm -hmm. So is the education level is high. Mm -hmm. So demo same thing happened in America. But remember, education. democracy means be selfish. be selfish. But there's a second caveat to it. Suppose you're sitting in a meeting and you're deciding you're selfish. Hey, do this, mm -hmm. do that. I'm telling you this is better. Okay. And people listening to you. And your voice doesn't carry through. But when they vote, your voice doesn't mean much. By mm -hmm. majority, they vote other person. Then you say, I accept it. Mm -hmm. That's a democracy. Mm -hmm. Be selfish in the beginning. But then what majority says, then you say, I'm with you. Okay. Then you lose your selfishness. And he agreed. That's a real democracy. Democracy doesn't mean you don't argue. Doesn't mm -hmm. mean you don't po put your point of view. You do put your point of view. Ji. But your benefit. Or benefit. That's what the selfish means. Okay. Ji. What do you want to accomplish by election? Thanks for clarifying. You understand now? Ji. So there's one of the way they were, I explained to the people. Mm -hmm. So India and uh, they are very good countries. Both are good. They're going through a different process of evaluating. Mm -hmm. But when the people see how many people vote in India, American people cannot understand how many people voting in India. Mm -hmm. But it's a democracy. So both are, both are good. So being selfish, but that selfish person is uh, good on education. Like he's on educated. It. Yes. He's not just a Hindi bolta hai, chal. No. Crowd person. No. Whatever people are telling, just go and do. No. So in US, I see the people are educated and educated. they know their benefits. They know benefits. They question their leaders. Yes, they question the leaders. Mm -hmm. okay. And leader answer. Leader answer. How about India? India, you don't have to answer anything. You are the boss, you do what you want <laughs> to do, right? <laughs> Ji. In, in, in America, if a senator does a crime, mm -hmm. he's arrested and go to jail. President, huh? ex president, You're having a president, <laughs> right? So that's a democracy, yeah. right? So still there. Uh, I said the difference might be not too big, but uh, both are good. Mm -hmm. I, I would say both are good. Nothing one is better than other. Mm -hmm. Both are good. And if uh, Bharat ko vixit karna hai, just like US is developed now. So if India, if India has to develop, what are the key steps they need to focus as a country? They have to put more money in R&D, research and development. R &D. Okay. One reason, mm -hmm. more money for R&D. Can you please explain how does it uh, help ultimately like R&D and then? R&D does research. Research. Mm -hmm. You know, you said what, how you improve, right? Your question was how India could improve. Improve. Mm -hmm. But that's what the research and development does. You put money into it. Let's say put money in engineering, engineering, mm -hmm. how to make roads, for example. Yeah. You put new way to make roads, mm -hmm. research and development, right? Mm -hmm. By research and development, you improve the product, you improve the, in the industry. Mm -hmm. Maybe in medicine, maybe in the interesting, maybe in the education, right? Mm -hmm. So research and development, that's why America is leading the research and development in America happens is way, way ahead in the world than anybody else. That's why they have the best technology. They attract the best people. They attract the best mind to work. Gee, maybe well, well, there, yeah. If India has more research and development, mm -hmm. people don't have to leave India to come here. They can do their work there too yeah. Gee, so. and develop there, right? Mm -hmm. So research and development is the key. To they have to put priority India on it, but mm -hmm. money into it like they did for education in the beginning. Mm -hmm. 
then India became independent. Poor, but want everybody to be educated. So research, now I mean, India has money. Mm -hmm. They have a, a foreign exchange. They can attract best engineer to come to India. Mm -hmm. They can attract best scientists to come to India and work for India. Mm -hmm. That's how you progress. Like they say, the money talk, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. You leave one job, come to the other job. Mm -hmm. That's what America did. Mm -hmm. After Second World War II, although they defeated Hitler, defeated Germany, mm -hmm. right? What they did? When all scientists was going around, America all brought them to America okay. to do research mm -hmm. and funded them. Mm -hmm. So that's what applied to India also. Do research. Research and employ the best one to do research. Yeah, but not uh, not as uh, before, not mm -hmm. as uh, like I came in the first year, second year, as I never felt homesick. Mm -hmm. So I was not bound, I never used to cry, I never used to go back to India. Mm -hmm. or, no, I never had that. But in the beginning, you used to feel, hey, I grew up here, I'm going to America. And uh, so, in a psychological way, you can say that, mm -hmm. okay, it has a meaning, mm -hmm. but not physically meaning. Mm -hmm. Reason, I'm telling you, a uh, very interesting explanation, at least from my side. Mm -hmm. When I came 55 years ago, it'll be 56 on June 21st, right? Mm -hmm. Very close. World was like that. India, America. Oh my God. Dream See? So it was like that. Once you leave, you never knew you were going to come back. Or what you're going to become psychologically, mentally, religiously, or what are you going to start eating meat, to start drinking and all this stuff and all the stories about the West. Mm -hmm. You didn't know what's going to happen to you. Mm -hmm. So they was very afraid. Mm -hmm. But as the time went on, the world started becoming with the airplane, with what? the technology, mm -hmm. with the people have money, they can fly anytime, they can come anytime, they can transfer money. They can get letters right away. They can get email, communication. There is no distance now. So, world is becoming one. So. It's like, used to be dream before. Yes. Oh my God, it is so far. I wish world became smaller. I wish it become smaller. Mm -hmm. It happened. Well, how did it happen? See, bank, all that intermingled money. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see the plane. Coming, going every day, you intermingle. Mm -hmm. People have money to go and come back. Education got people coming to educate it more and more going there. Mm -hmm. In India, you know how many people live in India from America? Um, American live in India? From America, people live in India. I have no idea. I guess if I'm not wrong, you can check it. It's about 700,000. That's big. <laughs> can you imagine? People from America going to India, totally opposite. Yeah. 50 years ago, S 7 lakh. 7, seven lakh people. Mm -hmm. 700,000 people, whether they're living or working, make no difference. But they're living in India. 700,000 American live. Totally opposite, right? Mm -hmm. So the question is, world has evolved. So whether you are living in a dharti yape or dharti mahaki mm -hmm. and lost that texture to it. Mm -hmm. This is a my ghar gaon ki matti hai, ya mere desh ki dharti hai. Right? Mm -hmm. Now it means psychological thing now, mm -hmm. because you have so many access you have to it. Mm -hmm. When there was no access to it, it has a more meaning. Mm -hmm. It has a more meaning. Of course, it seems that you owe something to your nation. To India? To India. No. Absolutely not. Why not? Okay, question yes. why not? Why not? <laughs> because, why not? Right? Because at my age of maturity, 
I fulfill all my duties. So initially, it means that initially you owed something and then you repaid. 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 Okay. How? Repaid took care of my parents. Okay. I could have left them alone. Mm -hmm. I'm independent guy. This <laughs> thing they will take care. My relative will take care of it. Mm -hmm. I, I took care of my parents. I took care of my other relatives. Mm -hmm. I took care of my sibling. I took care of the community. Community part. Can you please elaborate more? Like company, may, for example, I was already giving scholarship to the student because I came on education. Mm -hmm. So supporting people who are poor in my community, giving scholarship. Mm -hmm without any foundation and all, giving a scholarship, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's my duty, mm -hmm. right? And then I, for the community, I made two community bhavan, remember? In New Delhi. In, in Delhi, mm -hmm. okay, where my people live. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, I don't care about Madras people, what they do. I have mm -hmm. no alliance to Madras, all mm -hmm. these are part of India. Mm -hmm. I care only about Delhi. I only care about my Saini and Saini people, right? Mm -hmm. So I paid them back. Okay, and I help in that way socially. So I paid them back as a, if we somebody to financially what we did. Mm -hmm. yeah. I did that way. Yeah. Mentally, I'm still connected to all of them. I'm no different. So I still don't have to feel anything to owe to anybody. Yeah. And when uh, and when I came here, I'm a self-made man, like most of us are who came in '65. Mm -hmm. They come from a poor, my family was poor, mm -hmm. educated, but poor. Mm -hmm. I, I said we are poor doctors, mm -hmm. engineers and all, but they were financially not good. Mm -hmm. Whatever reason might be, right? That's a different story. Mm -hmm. But I fulfilled that, took care of them, so I don't have to feel. Now I became a U.S. citizen. Did somebody force me to become a U.S. citizen? No. Mm -hmm. Somebody coerced me to become American citizen? No. Willingly, swearing to God, I took American citizenship. Ji. And I left the Indian citizenship. So what do I owe now? Ji. Only psychology. Psychology, yeah. Psychology, right? So I left India citizenship, not in a bad mood, not India was teasing me, blaming me, not because of that. Mm -hmm. Willingly, I left Indian citizenship. I became a U.S. citizen by willing. Mm -hmm. So my alliance, uh, uh, alliance, mm -hmm. is with the U.S. It is still uh, morally, be bad. morally connected to India. Morally yeah. connected. That's fine. There's a different level connection. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow, suppose there's a war between India and China, America. Who should I support? No, I think. U.S. is your hmm? country now. U.S. my country. Right. right? Okay. I just have a right to say, hey, U.S., you are bad. Yeah. You shouldn't do war with India. That's okay. Mm -hmm. But still, whatever you do, I'm with you. I cannot say now, no, I'm Indian now. Gee. I took all 50 years of benefit. I tell a lie to them that I, I'm leaving my Indian citizenship. When a test of the time came, then he said, oh, I'm Indian now. <laughs> right? That, that's, that's why I don't like, owe anything to India. It's like a moral obligation. So it's moral obligation. To, to your nation. Own conscious obligation. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I can teach my children you are Indian heritage. You are spiritually good. You are very good fine. Mm -hmm. That's why if you ask younger people who are born here and we tell them something, hey, you are from India. He said, no, I'm not from India. I'm American. Mm -hmm. I'm born here. I don't care about India. Mm -hmm. It may hurt me, hurt anybody to hear that, but they're right, right? right. They're American. So the question is, we have to be, your mind should be clear. Mm -hmm. Although if the America is wrong doing a war or animosity with India, I still have a view they shouldn't do that. But I mean, still alliance in with the United States. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And it should be. Mm -hmm. Thanks for 100%. And the last question is, like, uh, you have any word to say to India? It's like open, open mic for you to say a few words to Indian. Yeah, I think population. I only say because, uh, as I said, as you grow senior, you become more wiser. Mm -hmm. 
you have seen all ups and down of life and came out ahead or overcome them basically my advice would be you always never lose faith in god okay no matter india anywhere never lose faith in god be a religious person follow the tradition of india which may be getting less and less popular because of the how they everything evolving around us but they are very good follow with them and always keep your mind conscious good do your best and don't regret and don't feel sorry for it never look backward life is in forward thinking not in backward backward is a museum you look at them enjoy them but you have to move with the world and have the family value and be a proud india thank proud so india thank you so much for giving your time yeah. and i think your all the details will help indian population and in general the humanity because you yes. provided us a lot of treasures yeah. of your experience is is the mean is my pleasure and honestly yeah thank you and uh, that to take the task uh, and uh, doing this for the benefit not for me not for you but benefit of our fellow men all around this the digital media all around with a common sense approach and the dignity and the firm belief in your own heart and india is great and is a much more bright future for india very soon thank you very much thank you good <laughs> <laughs>